Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode. Today is Saturday and in the spirit of Saturday we are going to play Minecraft Pocket Edition of course. Uh, yeah so I've already started a world and because I I wanted to find a basic diverse world. We're playing on uh, old so yeah we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, I have, if you saw, I have two YouTube, um, two YouTubes open. That is because of, well, yeah. Anyway, this is going to be a tutorial. So, what do you do first? Well, that's, that's a good one. You spawn in, and this looks like a good spot. You see this pile of dirt. We are going to... to oh, it doesn't look like I have sound up. Apologies on that. Uh, we're just going to dig in to this area. If you don't play Pac... If you uh, don't know how to do that, you're just going to hold your finger down and to place dirt back you are just going to uh, click. You just put your finger down on wherever you want to dig. Alright, so that's that's good enough for now. We want to spend this time because I'm going to play this in non-difficulty, which is hard on Mobile Edition. So I will probably die a lot. If it was computer, no, I'm good at computer. Um, but yeah, for now, we're going to leave it like that and use this time to get materials. Now, for a tree, if you can get on top of it, it makes things easier. Because you don't have to, all you have to do is find the center route of the tree and then dig down. Which you don't do in caves. However, for places like this, it's okay. Because of the fact that, well, you know to stop at the dirt. When you hit sea dirt, you stop. I'm, yeah, this is a birch tree. We don't, well, I guess it doesn't matter right now. I, I would usually say don't use birch. But that's just my opinion. Because I don't like the way birch looks. But... We won't tell because it'll come out as oak anyway. So we've almost got wood, more wood. Now, as you might know, there is, oops, there is no, what's it called? Food, there's no food bar right now. I don't think there ever will be. I could be wrong. But, so food's not important to us unless we get injured. We want food if we're hurt. And we don't need to. So, while I'm collecting this wood, let's talk about the channel. Um, I have been doing some arranging to make it so that I can make a video every day for you guys. And I've decided that on Monday I shall make uh the it'll be a different game each day. So Monday we'll be playing Ababel online, which is basically just a mass RPG. And there's a couple curses in there. But, of course, moderators keep it so that you can't really curse. So what it is really is asterisk marks and dashes and symbols. So, yeah, don't worry about that. Um, Tuesday, we'll be playing Xenonia 4. That is an offline RPG. Uh, and it, it's... 
essentially you're a hero trying to save the world. And Wednesday, we'll be playing Blockheads. It'll either be offline or online. Right now, it's going to be offline because I'm still... It, I can't get credits for some reason. I don't like that. Every time an update releases and I update it, it will not let me... Uh, it won't let me get any more gems. Thursday, we'll be recording Empire Online. That's another MMORPG for iOS. If you want to play it and you have an Android, you will want to search up Saga of Conquest. It's They run on different servers, but it's essentially the same game. Like, it's basically an exact copy, but they run different... Uh, brands so where's my thing at it's over here I think um, Friday is whatever I want RPG games uh, survival games Minecraft whatever I don't I don't even know why I'm going in here um Saturday is Minecraft, Pocket Edition, and Sunday is a vlog, uncut. And all of these will be released in two parts, so two videos a day. Um, so, essentially you'll be getting 14 videos a week. Or maybe 13, I don't know, it'll depend on what I'm doing for... Uh, for Fridays. So 13 to 14 videos a day. Alright, so now to craft. Click these three buttons at the bottom and you're gonna click the middle button on the left panel and you're gonna create you're gonna click on the say you have oak, you're gonna click the oak planks and it'll say 4x and they'll show an icon. Just click that repeatedly until you want to stop it'll show you in your inventory and then you'll have it too all right so i've created a basic crafting table whoa whoa whoa, whoa. where did the day go um you know what just for today we'll turn it off so we're going to craft a door and by doing that, you just click the crafting table, click the door, and click the wooden door icon. And you're going to come out here. It always looks nicer uh, to come out and place it from the outside. And then, hmm, you know what? Let us, I really don't like working in the dark. Can I turn the brightness up? I think I can. It might be at max. No, it's not. But it doesn't really help on Pocket Edition, as you can probably tell. Alright, so let's let's create a chest. Which is this thing in the top right-hand corner. Because we are going to be running out of storage space soon. Now... I placed that fast. Let me just pick this back up and show you. Although it's basically the same thing as the crafting table. You click on the ground and then click the chest to open it. We don't need these seedlings. That Let's get rid of the birch. Now, how, how are we doing on time? Nine minutes. That's not so bad for part one. Let's click the sticks and craft four with one, one click. Then click the wooden pickaxe and craft that, as that is the first thing you're gonna you're gonna want. Let's mine this down. And we're gonna place it out here. 
Now, I'm, I'm essentially working in the dark here. You guys probably can see what you're doing. I can't really see it right now. I can turn this up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, that helps a lot. I, all right. So now, just going to dig down one block down, one block over. And we're just going to keep doing that for a couple blocks down for several reasons. One, if a creeper blows up outside, we won't worry about it hitting anything on the inside of our chest. So if we have something down here, a creeper blows up outside, it's it's not going to hit our stuff inside. Because it will blow things up. Alright, so now, click the crafting table, and we're going to click this and create a furnace. And we're going to place this furnace right... Yeah, that'll work. Actually, no, it won't. Very OCD, even in the beginning. Alright. Now, place the furnace down, just like everything else. And we are going to... Alright, well, I forgot to save some tree logs. So, let's go over here. And craft... Tree... Uh, not craft, what am I saying, craft? Let's chop down some trees. Or, just one tree. Or... One whole tree. I remember when I was younger, my father would always cut these big things down and I, with a giant saw, uh, chainsaw. And I always wanted to try it, never could. And so now we're gonna place an entire stack, well not an entire stack, just a decent amount, in the bottom, and uh, by clicking the bottom I mean, and then you just click to add one, hold down to add a certain amount, and click the top again and add the tree logs, and that will give us charcoal. And night's almost up already, how the time flies. dark down here. Oh well. We will fix that in a second by doing this. We're going to pick this uh, let me show you. This arrow here what is going to show you how f close it is to completing itself. Once it's filled, it means it's complete. So just click this click the box that it's pointing at to get the item once it's crafted anyway. Now I'm going to click these torches and make a it's four per craft. Let's mine in one here. And just place a torch. Mine in down some more. Because we still need some stone. And some distance from these creepers. We have third we have one more minute until part one's done. So this is part one. And we will stop right here. Outside of our house. Alright, please stay tuned for five seconds while I record part five. Thank you. And...